All right, so, yes, hi, buddy. Oh, and you big fat girl. So I mentioned in my favorites video that I am redoing the guest room, and I wanted to show what you got. What's this, a little toy? Let me see it. Oh, is that a mushroom? Look at that. What is this little thing? He's so cute. Ready? <laughs> okay, so... I took everything off the walls. I have to take that. I have to wash the walls. So I'm actually working with an interior designer who it's really cool because she does all of the stuff via like email and she sent me these 3D concepts. So I'm gonna pop them up on the screen right here for what this wall is going to look like. And this is gonna be the backdrop to my videos because it's been really bothering me lately. The backdrop has been just looking really messy and I don't like it. And this was kind of the room that we put everything that like we just had left over. It was like a storage room basically. So I got some things today from home goods and target just to kind of start <laughs> piling up what uh we're gonna have in here i sold this bookcase i sold this desk keeping this chair though for now until i find something else and i'm just gonna kind of start to work with what i got and it's gonna be like a boho vibe i gotta wait for the bed frame and there's a really cute little couch that's gonna go here it's gonna look so nice in my videos i'm so stinking excited so i just want to show you the before before I start doing stuff to it, and we're gonna document it. Welcome to the redo of the guest room. And also, look at these two with these little toys. What you got? Got a little toy? What's this one? Let me see it. What is it? An eggplant? Is it eggplant? Oh. Who's out there? Is that daddy coming back soon? What? Yeah, when's he coming? Here you go, you can have your little toy back. And you, with this mushroom. With this mushroom. <laughs> on my fresh bedding which I got from home goods so I'm gonna kind of touch on a few things really quick because today my project is to clean these walls because anything that was hung up there you know like you get dust and stuff on the wall and patch up the little holes kind of just smooth them out I had the shelves here obviously which I need to fill in the um, anchors in the wall, but this is the wall that we're gonna put the um, wallpaper on. I just moved this little ottoman here because this is where the love seat's gonna go, so I kinda wanted to see how that would look there. <laughs> I could see how a love seat would look in this area, which I think I'm really gonna like. The bedding I got from Home Goods. Those little boho pillows are from Target. This rug is just a makeshift rug that I threw here to see how one would look in this direction, but I did order one from Boutique Rugs. And then I have to patch up these holes, clean this wall, and I have a couple of things to hang today. So that's on the uh, agenda for today in the room, the guest room project. I'm still like not crazy about this. That's why I left the tag on. It's from Target. It's the Project 62 nightstand. I just, I don't know if I love it. And there's like so much empty room here. I feel like maybe I need one that's slightly wider, you know? But we'll see, this is not like permanent. I just kind of wanted to see how that looked there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these walls. Guest room update. Should we show them? Wow, <laughs> it looks so nice. Okay, so little update since the other day when I was showing you the progress. 
My, oh, did you get your toy out of the toy bin? Did you get your toy out of the toy bin? Where's that guy? You can go up there. Go ahead. So the bed is scooched over a little bit more towards the window. Oh, yes. Do you like it or what? <laughs> this is the wall that's going to have the wallpaper on it. And so the couch is going to go... Oh, my God. You're an angel. Wow. The couch is going to go over there. Then I hung that shelf today, which was an absolute pain in the ass. I'm really not sure that it's going to stay to be honest with you, like I am really concerned, even though these plants, by the way, most of them are like from Target or Home Goods, they're so light, like literally barely probably two ounces. I'm just not convinced that that shelf's gonna hold it, honestly, which is from Target. Um, the desk is from Home Goods. This chair I kept from Target. The basket's from Home Goods. That clear vase is from Heath, Hearth, Hand, and Magnolia, whatever, from Target. Bedding is from Home Goods. I think I already showed that. And then those pictures are also from Home Goods. How adorable are they? Like, absolutely so sweet and boho ish. Yeah, it looks so nice, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Look what just arrived! Our couch, the rug, that's actually a package for Austin, and I'm thinking that this is the wallpaper. Oh, oh boy. First of all, I'm gonna pop up a picture of the couch that I purchased off of Wayfair, okay? I don't, at this point, I really don't even know why I bother ordering from Wayfair because it never, ever, ever, ever fails to be either broken, not the right description, a piece of shit or whatever. And then this is like totally not the right color. And I just double checked the website. That's the only brown that they offer and that's the one I purchased. And yet, like this is like a true brown, look at this, leather. And the one that I ordered is like, not this color, but they don't have it and it's out of stock now, so whatever. Look at this. You wanna see this up close. Look at how this arrived. Seriously. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> like, is this a joke? I swear to God, this is the last time I buy anything from Wayfair. Every time. <laughs> dying as I was filming this for like 20 minutes but okay so here's my my final thoughts on this first of all I have to wait for either Austin or Shelly to help me with this rug because it's really hard to lift the bed up and slide it so just ignore the wrinkles for now this is from boutique rugs um but honestly I think with the wallpapered wall there and like how that blue pillow is going to kind of pop with that I think it's going to bring a really nice color to the room like just I don't know, brighten it up a little bit because right now obviously there's a lot of neutrals and like boho feel to it, but I really am looking forward to seeing what the wallpaper looks like, but I'm not doing that today. I'll probably do that tomorrow or over the weekend, but this is the progress of what it looks like now. And I swapped out the keyboard for a black one and a black mouse just because it was bothering me the way that the wire was <laughs> looking with the old Mac white keyboard that he had. So I kind of felt like that looked a little bit more manly, if you will. And that's pretty much it for today's work on the guest room. So once I get the wallpaper journey started, I'll show you that. But this is kind of what it looks like for now. And I'm really loving it. It just looks so bright and airy and cozy and boho. I'm just absolutely digging it. Mother, I really don't think this is a good idea. I think you should probably wait for someone to help you. Nope, we're going to do it anyway because I have zero patience and when things arrive, <clears throat> I need them to be done. Oh, we're getting some toys out of there. Okay, so today is the day that I'm going to attempt to put this freaking wallpaper up. Um, I, and we're just going to see. I'm going to start from the other side because I haven't taken the vents off yet. But you know, this is just, this is my off day today. I just want to see. I just feel like everything I do with home improvement projects, seriously, it just 
never, it never goes well the first time. I'm just gonna say that. So I don't have high expectations. Oh God, help me. A problem. There's no way. There's just no way I'm never gonna do this by myself. Yeah, so instead of a smaller chair or a ladder, we're gonna use a spinning chair because I like to take risks. We are just... Oh, that's not gonna work either. And before you ask, yes, I prepped my walls the right way they told me to do so. At this point, I would have been better off just fucking painting this on the wall, to be honest with you. Maybe you're supposed to take the backing off first, like the whole thing, but like I said, that doesn't, that doesn't look like it's right. <laughs> it's okay. Well, the question is how the fuck? There has to be a better way to do this. Like maybe I peel it off from the bottom side. I just don't understand. I cannot wait to post this video. I just can't wait. Awesome. Okay, well, who thought this was a good idea? Oh, I did, that's right. Welcome back. <clears throat> Hello, Bailey. So after the wallpaper incident uh, yesterday, yes, I know, mom sucks at wallpaper. So had a little bit of a meltdown yesterday after the wallpaper, right? And <laughs> the background of this, right? I want this to be the backdrop for my videos. I want it to have color and character and pattern because it's gonna be blurred, obviously, as you can kind of see, like everything's slightly blurred behind me. I don't want it to be just one solid color. So when I went to the paint store after failing with the wallpaper yesterday, I chose these two colors, which I know it kind of looks a little bit funky on camera because it always kind of distorts the colors a little bit, but this is Deep Sea Dive and this is Rojo Dust and I really love the both of them but I don't think that doing the entire wall in one of these colors is what I'm going for. So then I thought, well what if I did a split wall concept with the bottom half being this blue color and then do that sponge technique with a pattern on the top, right? Who knows? I don't know but at this point there's nothing to lose because I've already failed miserably at the wallpaper. Which, to be fair, that wallpaper said that you could put it on textured walls. You can't. But Sherwin-Williams never does me wrong. So I'm just kind of... I'm at a bit of a crossroads here because I really can't decide between these two colors. But you know what? I have a, a bucket of each. I have a gallon of each. <laughs> and, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna see how it goes. We're just gonna beep boop, just slap it on. I'm gonna start with my original plan of the bottom half being blue and the top perhaps being the terracotta sponge. And if that looks like shit, then I'll just paint over it with the terracotta color and we'll just call it a day, okay? So here we are on day 25 of trying to make this look cute, okay? I'm really, me doing home improvement projects, you guys, is just, it's not it, okay? I try so hard, but I'm just not cut out for this stuff, so. Anyways, I'm going to start taping this wall so that eventually I can paint it at some point. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'd say that looks pretty straight if you ask me. So this is where I'm going to do the split and I'm just honestly, I guess what we'll take is to the mall one show just not gonna end well guys <laughs> the first step is to paint the bottom half blue and then see if I like it and then I have to go get the sponge so that I can do the top part which I still fully haven't decided on a uh, design yet either herringbone or just straight sponge up and down I haven't decided but we're just gonna play it by feel and just uh, 
kind of see. So here's the beginning prep work, and then we'll see how it goes. But I get to work out first. Yeah, I get to work out first. I know, I know. Okay, so here's just a little bit of an update before I do the second color of paint on the wall. So this is just an eight foot little uh, trim piece of wood that I stained because it's hard to tell with the green tape of how it's going to look, but look at the difference that makes. It looks light years better with the wooden piece up there. And I'm just, I don't know, I think that really matches with the couch and the other wooden trim. And I'm gonna probably go with the middle terracotta piece. So yeah, so that's where we're at. Now I'm gonna hit it with a second coat and then think on it. And then I think over the weekend, I will um, do the little design on the top. And then if I don't like it, I'll just freaking paint over it. You know, it's just paint. <laughs> I put it away. Oh, great. Well, I just want to take a moment to, again, <laughs> explain that everything I do turns to shit. So there's that. These things that I put on the wall, the tape, to help where I was going, uh, they didn't work. So I decided that I think the wood piece needs to go up first. Honestly, I feel like I did a really great job at that line. I'm not, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but... As soon as I turned my camera off, it fell. I'd just like everyone to know that I put this plank of wood up and it's even. Yep. <laughs> what day we're on here but I needed another plan in this corner because it was off-centered and it was bothering me like the heights um, and I didn't love the picture that I had up there well I love the picture but I'll pop it up here so you can see what it looked like but the frame was black it didn't go right I have like this brass accent here I've got this gold lamp here so what I'm going to do I lightly sanded the frame which I think is just plastic, honestly. And I covered the canvas and I got some spray paint. So I'm going to put some cardboard down and I'm gonna go spray paint this like a brass gold color and pray to God that it matches because I just don't like this black frame on here. So we're gonna see how it goes, probably poorly as with everything else that's gone in this room. <laughs> Okay, so finally I can say, <laughs> after all these days, that the guest room slash office slash filming station is finally done. And I know I kind of briefly already touched on where most things were from. I'm going to make sure that I link as many things as possible in the description box, but I wanted to kind of just give a final look at how it all came together. I definitely feel like the picture looks a bajillion times better with the brass frame. It matches that lamp. I added an additional plant in that corner because I felt like it kind of needed to be balanced out, 
which is just from TJ Maxx. It was like a $20 plant. I just put it in it. Uh, I put two pots actually so that I could make it higher. It's like I put a planter inside a planter. <laughs> Cheated the system there, but that's okay because I couldn't find one that was as uh, high as I wanted it to be. The pompous grass things are actually online from Walmart. Any of these artificial plants that I have in here are primarily from like TJ Maxx, Home Goods you know, like those kind of places, just cause they always have the best little fake plants and I am not a real plant girl. So, um, and I think that's, I think I labeled every single thing that I got. That little geometric bedside lamp, I got that one from TJ Maxx for literally like $12.99. And this little guy on the bed, that's from Target, the blankets from Target. I swapped those blankets cause I felt like there needed to be an additional color over there. I'm still not crazy about that pillow because I want there to be something like that goes with the terracotta color. I just haven't found one that I liked yet, but that's okay. And this is kind of how it all came together. So I'll probably film from this corner, like sitting here, having this in the background, which I'm so excited to see how that looks. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a good laugh out of watching me redo this guest room. It was really fun and I really love the way that it all came together. So thanks so much for watching <laughs> and laughing at my expense. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.